Oh, I'm gonna kill you for that, Jason. What are you doing? Oh, 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 Listen to me, no! <laughs> I'm Listen to me! You. I'm gonna cut your face to shreds! Listen to me! So no one you thought you could be a favor to me with Jorge! I can do whatever I want, but you can't! Uh, no way! Uh, but you said you were gonna be unfaithful! You said you were gonna go to bed with the first man that you well, saw! I can say whatever I want! Really? You're not going to bed with us! Huh? You're not going to bed with anyone else! Do you hear me? You're never gonna go to bed with that, miss! Uh, I'm gonna slash your face! Do you understand me? I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna cut your filthy heart open! Stop right there! You despicable let you will pay for it! Here! But you, you are gonna pay for it! You know you're crazy about me! I am not! I am not! I'm gonna kill you! Hey! Let drop it! Go! Drop the knife right let now! Go drop it! Me. Drop it! Let it go! Listen to me. Okay, listen to me. Didn't you say you weren't gonna be faithful to me? And that you were gonna go to bed with the first man you saw? And didn't you say that? That my son Jorge was gonna go to bed with you? Didn't you say that? Didn't you say that? Yes, huh? I did. Uh -huh. well, that's very good. Now, you better stop all this nonsense. Otherwise, you and I both know the demon is going to possess your soul. The devil's going to take you. Listen to me, good. The devil's already here. He already is in me. He's in my soul. And I'm still jealous enough to want to kill you. So let me go, Radamus. Let me go. Look, tonight you are going to sleep in my room where I can see you and I'm going to sit and watch you all night so no one can walk in and be with you. I'm one of those, you're crazy. No, you're the one that's crazy. <laughs> Just remembering it makes me laugh. <laughs> Thank you for this magical night, Amaryllis. Mm. I needed it, you know? Thank you for being so very honest and so generous with me. Mm. Are you... Are you sleepy? Not much. And you? Uh, a bit. Where are you staying? I could stay out here protecting you. <laughs> if you liked. Well, probably. I would think that you could protect me a lot better inside, no? I want to respect you, Amaryllis. Well, fine. And who said that if you were to sleep with me, that you wouldn't be respecting me? What about my godfather, Giacomo? <laughs> the, <laughs> the only way that he could find out is if I were to tell him, or if you were to tell me. My God, I lost Jorge. I've lost him forever. And the worst thing is I have no right to say anything. I am a married woman. And he is a free man. But then why do I suffer so much? Oh God, why? Have you heard from Albert Griselda, Rahelia? She is spending the night at a friend's house at the Hacienda of the Lizagas. You know that they don't have a telephone. <clears throat> My goodness. It seems awfully strange that a modern young lady like Alba Griselda doesn't have a, a cellular. It just so happens that at the Lizagas Hacienda, the signals aren't very clear. Mm. Uh, you see, Giacomo, the truth is, that it's not the first time that she hasn't come home to sleep. Since she is now a young woman, she doesn't allow us any more control. <clears throat> Enough said. Please tell me about Radamus. Mm. Everything is just fine now, Rosalinda. I have already arranged for 15 buses that will all arrive mm -hmm. here promptly early tomorrow morning, just full of people. They are all friends of Radamus that are going to vote in his favor. <sighs> that is really excellent. I feel better. It means Radamus will get his job back as mayor, and that Orchidia will be defeated and humiliated. Because tomorrow, the banks are going to start asking her to repay her loans. I only wish I could spy on her through the keyhole and see her reaction. Don't worry, we will see her, Ahelia. We'll see her, but it will be in front of everyone. I can assure you both that as of early tomorrow morning, we will see the beginning of the end of Orchidia Cordova Escalante. Well, and what about your house, Los Almendros? When are you going to get it back? Because that house is legally yours. 
In fact, that is what I've been meaning to ask you. Did you have a chance to talk to the fellows you mentioned that are going to help us take it back by force? The House Los Almandros? Yes, senor. Argelia took care of it. They are outside, ready and waiting for your orders. Well, then, what on earth are we all waiting for, then? Orchidia right now is in illegal possession of a house that definitely is not hers. It's mine. I bought it and I paid for it fair and square. And that is why I personally am going to start shooting at the locks one by one and she can't stop me. In fact, I'd like to see her try. Let's see if once we're inside that old house of hers, let's see if she can possibly find a way to kick us out. <laughs> Come, yes, let's go. That's right, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Ahelia. And the weapons? Outside, they're fully armed. Let's go. Thank you. Well, Jorge, all right. I'll see you at breakfast tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Jorge, but I didn't say in the restaurant. Did you notice that they actually have 24-hour room service on offer in this hotel? Can you imagine having breakfast in bed? That would be wonderful. And I promise to personally treat you as if you were my prince. You're a very bad little girl. No, yes, you are. no, I'm not a bad little girl. Well, I used to be a little girl, but now I'm a woman. I am going to tell you something. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, really? Yes. Then you're going to have to sleep with the lights on, aren't you? Well, I guess that depends on you, my dear protector. Because if you tell me that you are going to be with me at my side, well, perhaps I don't know. I, I might turn them off. Keep me company. Come on. <laughs> Almighty, I can't believe I care so much about this man who has betrayed me even with my own mother. This scoundrel, this wretch, this liar, he's making me suffer so much. What is wrong with me? Oh God, am I going crazy? find my husband. I've been abandoned. I sleep alone. It's torture to know that those two are next to me. What could they be doing? I can't hear anything. It seems like they're dead. I can't hear a thing. Could they be kissing? to take a break in order to breathe, or I request another room. I can't stand this. Jorjito, please come and lay down by my side. Come on now, come. <sighs> the day I lay down at your side, Amaryllis, is because I'm sure of my feelings for you. Oh, Jorge, look, don't worry about it. Really, don't worry about it. I'm not asking for any kind of commitment. I'm not demanding. I'm a person who understands, and I also know I'm taking a risk. But I'm really not asking for anything in return. Come on now, go to sleep, my child. I'll look after your dreams from here. Huh? All right. And what about that sigh? <laughs> Hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna ask. Just like the famous song that says, who's it for? For whom do you sigh? Was it for me? 
<laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Jorge, don't worry about it. Really, don't worry. I know that you're feeling something deeply that is killing you. But I also know that one day you'll forget her. And you will be for me. I will never forgive Rodrigo. Alba Griselda Basanta, she waits for nobody. <sighs> At last it's here, my love. Honest. Look. I had to go across to the other side of town to get you this ice cream. And after I got to the right place, I had to wait a long time. Don't you like it? Ice cream for us? For both of us. Oh, but you left me alone for a long time. I was beginning to worry. I missed you a lot, you know that? Oh. And I missed you too, my love. But I couldn't miss the chance to bring you the best ice cream. Or don't you like ice cream? I just love ice cream. I think ice cream is really delicious. But see? I love your kisses more. Mm. <sighs> I can't. <sighs> How can I sleep when I know that Jorge's in that room with her? God, why did I get married? Was I in love? No. I like Rodrigo, but I don't love him. Because they accuse me of the death of Vladimir. And what is worse? Jail or a marriage without love? Because I saw Jorge kissing my mother. Yes. That was the reason. I will never be able to forgive either of them. But then why am I in love with him? It's not only my mother. I know about a lot of other women. She got married to Rodrigo Aravello. But please, why? She had no reason to do it. It must have been because of love. But if they marry because of love, then why on earth is Maria de Los Angeles all alone on the first night of her wedding? What a mystery this all is. Regarding what I've requested you to do, please will you keep a firm hand on it, Hernando? Feel free to treat her badly if you want. That is the best that she deserves, that Maria de Los Angeles. Yes, of course, Rodrigo. I will do exactly what you tell me. Thank you, Hernando. Oh, I'm very grateful, Alita. You can't imagine how important it is that my father gets this letter. Just don't you worry, ma'am. I'll make certain that he gets it. Thank you, Alita. Don't forget to give my very special greetings to Senora Orchidia, yes? I'll do it. My love, do you think we have enough time to buy some magazines and chocolates before getting on board? Yes, of course, Alba. Hernando, would you mind accompanying Alba to the shop? Meanwhile, I need to take care of a couple of things with Alita. Yes, of course. Come, Alba. I'll be right back. Uh, 
I thought you were never going to say goodbye to me. Don't ever call her my love in front of me. I don't know what I might be capable of doing. Please, enough. Let's not waste these few minutes arguing. I'll send for you. Taste my love. You're always spoiling me. That's what you told him last night, right? With that innocent face. No one will be able to imagine that you spent the whole night with that man in your room. Excuse me, waiter. Uh, yes, madam. The menu, please. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, uh, he, he left this note for you, madam? For me? Strange. Maria, run away. Run away now. Waiter, who left this? Uh, the truth is that I don't know the name of the gentleman. He left a little while ago. If you try, you might catch him. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back. Just wait here for me. Have a nice trip, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice trip, senor. Thank you, Alida. And take good care. Hernando, mm -hmm. thanks for everything. Bye. See you, Hernando. Bye. See you, Alida. Mm -hmm. See you, madam. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alida, Alida, don't faint on me. Alida, calm down. Look, <laughs> let's go. Come on. Hold yourself together. And as you all know, today is the day that we will decide whether or not we keep Radamus Basanta in the mayor's seat. He has been doing a very poor job, hasn't he? Yeah, I'll say terrible. So then, if we do what you, the people, want, we will kick him out right away. One moment. One moment. Yes. Oh, moment. Outside in the backyard are the boxes, where you are all free to go and cast your ballots. One moment. Let me explain this to you. This is a copy of a genuine ballot with which you are going to cast your vote. Inside, you are going to see this. There is a space at the bottom where you will see above it the word written yes, which you will tick if you want Mr. Basanta to stay. No And on the other side, the same empty space and the word above is no. That's the one we want. That's right. So I expect you all to vote by ticking no. Oh, I will. What about you? And kick Basanta out. Tell them are going to be sealed. Now, one more thing. This ballot is going to be sealed, ladies and gentlemen. Is that clear? Are we clear on that? All right. I have nothing else to say. You can go cast your votes. I'll do it. Get rid of Basanta. Sorry, Miss. Well, it seems as though we've already lost this fight, doesn't it? It looks as if you're not going to be able to keep your position and salary as the town's mayor. Why don't you just give up? Indeed, why don't you just get up there and tell the people that you'll step down voluntarily? And that will be the end of this entire messy little episode. And since I'm going to be the next mayor of Puntalana, you don't have to worry because I'm going to give you a new job, even if it's just as a civil servant. No. Better yet, since you know how to play the cymbal, then I'll make you the director of the municipal. Well, of the town's municipal band, how about that? Oh, no, I forgot your crooked. Oh, well, it looks like I won't be able to give you that position.
And so tell me, you two are... Samuel Chirinos and Daniel Granados. Yes. Can we get to the point? Of course. The only thing is that you two are going to go and vote today for Radames Pasanta. Really? We all know that today is the day to go vote. But look, don't you know that Radames Pasanta is already out? Era! Era! Who on earth told you that Radames Pasanta is already out of his seat? Allow me to let you in on a tiny little secret. <laughs> What do you think? No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. No, no. Bless my soul, you know it's true. You know it's true, plus you two know that if both of you go ahead and vote for Adamus Basanta, that you'll save him. You two will be the majority because a third party's on his side. There are five councilmen. Three make up a majority. So if you keep insisting on casting your votes against one-handed Basanta, you are going to be out of luck. Completely out of luck, and you heard what I just told you. So what do you two think you're going to say now? Hmm? So, sweeties, are you or are you not going to cast both of your votes in favor of Radamus Basanta, alias the mayor? No, no, no. Calm down, Mr. Everisto. Look, we're going to do whatever you tell us to do. Isn't that right? I don't know. Oh, my good friend. So... I'm so glad you're here at last. Look, I want you to go with these two clowns and keep a very good eye on them and check up on whether they are genuinely going to keep their word or not. Okay? So you are the ones that are going to back up Radamus Basanta. Very nice. Well, then I'm going to have to go with you. Well, excuse us. Go on, go ahead, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. But aren't you coming with us? Oh, no, you go, you go. Go on, go on. Goodbye, Orlando. <laughs> Listen, I don't understand what the hell was going on there. About what? What did you tell those two rogues that made them change their corrupt minds so darn fast? What on earth was it, huh? It's a state secret, Adam. It's politics, right? Politics! <laughs> Mama, may I tell you something? What, my love? He's telling me that Maria came by last night to say goodbye to us forever. What? Senora Francisca, Mr. Dunn are the only ones that can do something about this. Just, just hold on, just one moment. What's going on with you? Tell me, huh? eh? That the marriage between Maria de Los Angeles and, and Rodrigo Arvalo huh? was a totally planned setup by Orquita Cordova Escalante. <gasps> The but... devil! Oh, please forgive me. Mother, do excuse me. Okidia made her do it? Uh, that's the conclusion that we've come to. Then we have to find that poor girl and see what's going on with her. But there is one thing that I will assure you, and that's that Orquidia Cordoba has never frightened Francisca Salazar. And if what you're telling me is true, I, I'll give that violent, poisonous snake just what she deserves, and I swear it. Maria, run away. Run away now. God, who could have left me this message? What does it mean? And why me? I'm tired of so many mysteries. Run away. Run away now. What a strange message. But who could have left Maria de Los Angeles a message like this one? Rodrigo didn't come back during the night. I was on the lookout for him. And this message, no matter who left it, it's a warning. Maria de Los Angeles is in danger. And I have to protect her. I think it's time that we all start casting our votes, so let's go outside and vote now! Yes. Hang on, what's your hurry, Hector Coronel? Not even half the people of Puntalana are here yet. 
When everyone gets here, you will see that no one will take away Mr. Adamus Pisana's seat as the mayor. You know. That's right. Did you notice that Father Amelka has brought you some votes? You know you're going to have to go to Mass every day in order to give thanks to God Almighty. But it's a little late because you've already lost. You seem to be in a very good mood, Orchidia. Mm. But don't be so cocksure that I'm going to lose this election here. No, really? Don't be so sure and remember that he who laughs last laughs best, huh? Oh, don't worry. I'm very sure of it. Today's your last day as mayor. No, yesterday. <laughs> Can't you see how he flaps for you? Mm. Uh, Radames, outside are the survivors of the aphrodisiac poisoning. And they're all grateful to you because it was really thanks to you that they got better. Thanks to you? You were the one that saved them. Yes, and thanks to me, the Rialto Hotel was at your service. Oh, Ooh. get her. So, so. Well, I think that this is going to be useless, no? Yes, I think that I'll go to the backyard and stop the voting because I can see that there are more people that will vote no than yes. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I agree with you. I totally agree with you, Odysseus. Who said that you can see what you can't see? Nothing will be known until the end, until the last vote has been counted. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, shut up. I agree with you. I totally agree with Odysseus. Oh. 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 What's going on? Come on, Radamus. Stop him now. Heraclito Rondon is my friend, and I do not turn my back on my friends. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's war! It's war! If the authorities will first get together and converse, Radamus will conquer! Yeah. Yeah. If the king wins here, the queen will lose here! Yeah. Enemies will die. Oh. 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 If he wins, if he wins here, if the king wins. Oh. Oh. Adamus, what is this? This is a very disgusting joke. You are showing no respect to my position here, as you know I am the governor. I'm not some sort of clown. You're trying to make a fool out of me, and you're going to go to jail for it. I will put up with this insult. Do me a favor and take him to jail right now. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. Senor Hernando, do you think I could please speak to you? Yes, of course. Please come in. Thank you. Please take a seat. What is it? Um, well, I would like to know if... if you already sold my jewelry. Well, I'm interested to know what has happened to all of it. It's not that I don't trust you, but... But, child, ages ago I gave that money to Rodrigo. Strange. He didn't mention it. How, how much money was it? Look, it was a lot of money. It was almost $200,000. Part of which, I suppose, he is spending and enjoying right now, in Europe, with his new wife. What, what, what are you talking about? Me? I'm his wife. You, you, you know that Rodrigo and I got... No, child. I'm talking about his legitimate wife here. And it's not you. I'm talking about Alba Griselda, your sister. No. No, no, you probably don't understand that, that Rodrigo and I... Of course I understand. Look, the truth is that Rodrigo married your sister Alba Griselda. And right this moment, they should be in Europe enjoying your jewellery money. On their honeymoon, if I'm not mistaken. And don't even think that you'll possibly find Rodrigo to give you an explanation. 
because you'll be wasting your time. He won't be back for at least three years from now. But... Look. Here is the receipt of the money that I gave directly to Rodrigo. <laughs> she was going to wait for Rodrigo to come back. <laughs> what a naive little piece. <laughs> Please tell me what it is that you seem to have against this man. This is not the right place, nor the moment, for something so ridiculous. And especially such obviously cheap witchcraft. You're the enemy here, and that is why you talk like that. And that is why you don't want to see Radamus wear the necklace, because if he does, there's no way that he will lose. And you will not then see him licking the floor. And that's exactly what you want! He is dead right. Radamus has all the right in the world to wear that necklace because he has a lot of enemies. So many and very ruthless. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's happening here is an act of the town. And for the town. And people like Ericlito Rondon have every right to take their part in it. <laughs> you have been making my life really impossible. You've humiliated me. You have jailed me. You have tried to kick me out of the position of mayor that the town legally gave me. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. I was on the verge of losing my life. And thanks be to God, I was saved. And this election is only being carried out today because the law of the land is forcing you to do it. I'll tell you how I know that. Because you and Orquidia Cordoba Escalante's dirty tricks would have already kicked me out. I am going to wear that lucky necklace, Ericlito Rondon, because I believe in bad luck and people's deceitfulness, and there's lots of evil here amongst my enemies. Yeah, yeah that's right. Put that necklace on me, Ericlito. Yeah. Do it, Radamus. Give me a break. Your daddy sure knows how to take care of things. Yes, when it suits him. When it's for his own good. Radamus. What is I, it? I have buses outside that are filled with men willing to vote, but I have to get them organized, so there won't be any confusion, so please just hang on. I'll do it. All right. <laughs> good truth is, uh -huh. the bus outside full of men ready to vote got anything to do with you? Why, you jealous? You could say that. Don't worry. I told my girls to bring them so they would vote. <laughs> one moment, one moment, ladies and gentlemen. This party is over. It's over now. This is no what party. Is what on earth are you what talking about, on? Matt? Of course my friend Orlando is right, because out of five councilmen, we need only mm -hmm. three to make up a majority. Mm -hmm. And those councilmen standing right over there, Mr. Dario Granados and Mr. Samuel Chirinos, have come here to recount their previous mm -hmm. votes. They no longer stand by them, all right? <laughs> Going to recant? To recant, to ask for forgiveness. They came to give their support to Mr. Basanta, so that means that Basanta has the majority of the council in his favor. And if he is backed by the majority, he is the mayor. And if he's the mayor, why vote? Andrea, Andrea, I was just told that, that, that Rodrigo married Alba Griselda and that they left for Europe. That's a lie, right? That is crazy, right? It's not a lie, and it's not crazy. Rodrigo married Alba Griselda and left. But, but, but that's illegal. That can't happen. It's not fair. I'm your brother's legitimate wife. Oh, give me a break, Maria de Los Angeles. You've never been a legitimate anything. You don't even have a legitimate father, because no one begins to believe that story about Uncle Hector. So please forget legitimacy. Plus all of which, your mother isn't clearly defined. 
because you're supposed to be the daughter of Rosalinda Vargas. But you've been living for a very long time with the Fox, with Francisca Salazar. So if your mother is your true mother, well, as you can see, she's never cared about you. It's rather obvious. You've changed so much, Andrea, in such a short time. And to think we were like sisters. Oh, you keep insisting on making up a family, a mother, a husband, a sister. Mm -hmm. Your brother took all my money, Andrea. He played a dirty trick on me. Am I to understand that you're also a hyena? Look, don't you dare judge me, you shameless dog. If there's a hyena in here, it's you. You betrayed my friendship. You played dirty with me. You killed my father without a feeling of remorse and then married Rodrigo in order not to go to jail. So don't come and talk to me about friendship now. Because it doesn't fit, you know? It doesn't fit you and it makes me mad. It makes me sick and it humiliates me. Your words are the, the result of a very fatal misunderstanding. I'm your friend, Andrea. Your friend, bulletproof. Hate proof. Insult proof. I'm going to forget what I just heard you say. No, no. I don't want you to forget anything. I don't want. What, you to what are you going to do, my Andrea? Pace, nor all of my pain that you've caused me by killing my father and my desire to kill you once and for all. Take this! So you can learn the consequences of living with a prostitute. Take this! For having gone to bed with Juan Rosa, who I love. Take this! For trying to catch my brother Rodrigo. Take this! You carry so much hate inside, Andrea. Your hate really hurts me, Andrea. She must understand that the Cordobas were born to be leaders and the Vargases to be dominated. <laughs> Inicio Almanar Sanchez. Even if you don't expect it, I agree with you that the votes be counted. Because I want people like you and people like Orquidia Cordoba Escalante and her pack of corrupt vermin to wake up to the fact once and for all that I am the elected mayor of Punta Lana because that's what the people of this town here want. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, that's right. And I want you to start counting the votes in these ballot boxes right away. Go on. That's the way a real 100% man talks for damage, my friend. Not like those namby-pamby clowns that call themselves politicians. <laughs> Yeah. Let's all give this handsome and sexy beefcake mayor of Punta Lana a big round of applause! Thank you! Silence! Silence! The votes are going to be counted. Yeah, I'm trying to! Go on, go on! Go ahead. And the first vote goes to? It can't be true, Maria de los Angeles. It's one thing that Alba Griselda didn't come home to sleep last night, but it's quite another that she and Rodrigo could have left the country together. Open your eyes. I already did it. It's not the truth. Rodrigo and my sister got married, and they went to Europe. No. No. Ahelia! One moment, please. Come. What is it? Have you heard from Alba Griselda? Only what you know. Does she spend the night with a friend that has no telephone? <sighs> Excuse me. Yes, Lily. Tell me, tell me, tell me. We're very busy here. What is it? We've got an envelope for your husband. It's in his study. <sighs> Bring it to me. Is there something wrong with Alba Griselda? Maria de Los Angeles is just telling me that she's gotten and married Rodrigo and that they have left together for Europe. Plus, it seems that they took a considerable amount of money that belongs to Maria de Los Angeles. Here it is, Mrs. Rosalinda. Yes. Thank you, no. Lilia.
It's true. No, no, no. Alba Griselda wrote this to her father. <gasps> to let him know that she'd gone and married Rodrigo. <laughs> and that they'd left for Europe. No. But it's true. <gasps> Daughter! Maria de Los Angeles! Oh. Wait! Look, I really don't know a lot about you, my dear Jorge, because all I know is about your relationship with Giacomo. He raised you before. He became my husband with absolutely nothing else. But, but, well, Mother, what do you want to know? The only thing that should matter to you is your daughter's happiness. No, but daughter, listen to me. You're talking about matrimony. How do you want me to react? You're rushing into this headlong. What do you think, Mr. Jorge? Well, I do agree with you, ma'am. What is he going to say after this scene? What is he going to say, huh? Look, I want you to listen good and understand something, young man. This young lady you see here is the only daughter of none other than the late and the great Duke of Robles. Do you understand me? Believe me, she is a grand duchess. Hmm? So her wedding should be a major event socially and not a rush wedding like you two are planning. That's not right. I don't care if it's what you want. Please think about it. Please. Please, for goodness sake. <gasps> Wait, hey. don't leave like this. Please. Arhelia, what's going on? Oh, a terrible tragedy. Rodrigo Arevalo, it seemed, used Maria de Los Angeles and their marriage is not even valid. And not only that, but he is now legally married to Alba Griselda. And now they are enjoying their honeymoon together in Europe. And that poor child is so desperately unhappy. Tonight you are going to sleep in my room where I can see you and I'm going to sit and watch you all night so no woman can walk in and be with you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm one of those, you're crazy. No, you're the one that's crazy. <laughs> Just remembering it makes me laugh. <laughs> Thank you for this magical night, Amaryllis. Mm. I needed it, you know? Thank you for being so very honest and so generous with me. Are you... Are you sleepy? Not much. And you? Uh, a bit. Where are you staying? I could stay out here protecting you. <laughs> if you liked. Well, probably. I would think that you could protect me a lot better inside, no? I want to respect you, Amaryllis. Well, fine. And who said that if you were to sleep with me, that you wouldn't be respecting me? What about my godfather, Giacomo? <laughs> the... <laughs> The only way that he could find out is if I were to tell him. Oh, you two have been together no. for all Stop these it. years. Oh, I'm going to kill you for that. Don't oh, turn it. Don't you be on that. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to no, destroy no, no, you. Listen to me. No. <laughs> I'm Listen gonna to me. You. I'm going to cut your face to shreds. Listen to me. So no one you thought you could be a favor to me with Jorge. I can do whatever I want, but you can't. No way. But you said you were going to be unfaithful. You said you were going to go to bed with the first man that you well, saw. I can say whatever I want. Really? You're not going to bed with us. Huh? You're not going to bed with anyone else. Do you hear me? You're never going to go to bed with that, miss. Uh, I'm going to slash your face. Do you understand me? I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut your filthy heart open. Stop right there. You despicable. let you will pay for it. Here. But you, you are going to pay for it. You know you're crazy about me. Uh, I am not. I am not. I'm going to kill you. Hey. Let drop it. Go. Drop the knife right now. Let go drop it. of me. Drop it. Let it go. Listen to me. Okay, listen to me. 
Didn't you say you weren't going to be faithful to me? And that you were going to go to bed with the first man you saw? And didn't you say that? That my son Jorge was going to go to bed with you? Didn't you say that? Didn't you say that? Yes, huh? I did. Ah, well, that's very good. Now, you better stop all this nonsense. Otherwise, you and I both know the demon is going to possess your soul. The devil's going to take you. Listen to me, good. The devil's already here. He already is in me. He's in my soul. And I'm still jealous enough to want to kill you. So let me go, Radamus. Let me go! <laughs> we'll be defeated and humiliated. Because tomorrow, the banks are going to start asking her to repay her loans. I only wish I could spy on her through the keyhole and see her reaction. Don't worry, we will see her, Ahelia. We'll see her, but it will be in front of everyone. I can assure you both that as of early tomorrow morning, we will see the beginning of the end of Orchidia Cordova Escalante. Well, and what about your house, Los Almendros? When are you going to get it back? Because that house is legally yours. In fact, that is what I've been meaning to ask you. Did you have a chance to talk to the fellows you mentioned that are going to help us take it back by force? The house Los Almendros? Yes, senor. Argelia took care of it. They are outside, ready and waiting for your orders. Well, then, what on earth are we all waiting for, then? Orchidia right now is in illegal possession of a house that definitely is not hers. It's mine. I bought it and I paid for it fair and square. And that is why I personally am going to start shooting at the locks one by one and she can't stop me. In fact, I'd like to see her try. Let's see if once we're inside that old house of hers, let's see if she can possibly find a way to kick us out. <laughs> Come, yes, let's go. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Ahelia. And the weapons? Outside, they're fully armed. Let's go. Thank you. Well, Jorge, all right. I'll see you at breakfast tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Jorge, but I didn't say in the restaurant. Did you notice that they actually have 24-hour room service on offer in this hotel? Can you imagine having breakfast in bed? That would be wonderful. And I promise to personally treat you as if you were my prince. You're a very bad little girl. No, yes, you are. no, I'm not a bad little girl. Well, I used to be a little girl, but now I'm a woman. I am going to tell you something. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Then you're going to have to sleep with the lights on, aren't you? Well, I guess that depends on you, my dear protector. Because if you tell me that you are going to be with me at my side, well, perhaps I don't know. I, I might turn them off. Keep me company. Come <laughs> on. Almighty, I can't believe I care so much about this man who has betrayed me even with my own mother. This scoundrel, this wretch, this liar, he's making me so... Or if you were to tell me. My God, I lost Jorge. I've lost him forever. And the worst thing... I have no right to say anything. I am a married woman. And he is a free man. But then why do I suffer so much? Oh, God, why? Have you heard from Alba Griselda, Ahelia? She is spending the night at a friend's house at the Hacienda of the Lizagas. You know that they don't have a telephone. <clears throat> My goodness. It seems awfully strange that a modern young lady like Alba Griselda doesn't have a, a cellular. It just so happens that at the Lizaga's Hacienda, the signals aren't very clear. Mm. Uh, you see, Giacomo, the truth is that it's not the first time that she hasn't come home to sleep. Mm. Since she is now a young woman, she doesn't allow us any more control. <clears throat> Enough said. Please tell me about Radamus. Mm. Everything is just fine now, Rosalinda. I have already arranged for 15 buses that will all arrive here promptly early tomorrow morning, just full of people. They are all friends of Radamus that are going to vote in his favor. 
That is really excellent. I feel better. It means Rodamus will get his job back as mayor, and that'll key dear.